Right, for this lesson, we are going to look at turning point form of a quadratic equation again. This time, you are going to link the turning point form of a quadratic equation to the completing the square factorization process. And you should be able to use that process to actually convert the general form of a quadratic equation into the turning point form. And finally, using that knowledge, you should be able to sketch the quadratic equation. All right. So now just a quick revision. We know that the general form is y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. I have shown you how to convert that into a root form. Now you need to know how to convert it into a turning point form. So a quick recap of the turning point form. So this is the turning point form. You know that x plus h gives us a tra horizontal translation. Uh, the k gives us a vertical translation. And by knowing h and k, we can find the coordinate of the turning point. And then the A here is the dilation factor, and it also tells us whether the parabola is concave up or concave down. All right, so these are the quick recap. And you know we are looking at concentrating on y equals to x plus or minus h square plus or minus k. All right, this is just a mnemonic. Again, I'm not going to dwell on this slide too much. If you like, pause it and read through it yet again. Very quickly, recapping the key features of a parabola. You need to know the shape or the concavity, which is concave up, uh, the U shape, or concave down, which is the N shape. Then you need to know the axis of symmetry, the x-axis intercept, or the roots, the y-axis intercept, and then the turning point. With all these key features, you should be able to sketch a parabola. So now, another quick recap. You're asked to sketch y equals x squared plus 4x. Just looking at that, what I'll do is I will factorize it. All right. So here, I can find the y-intercept. By looking at the equation, you know c is 0, therefore y-intercept is at the origin, 0, 0. For the x-intercept, x, x minus 4, actually x plus 4 equals to 0, so therefore x equals to 0 or minus 4. So the x-intercept will be 0, 0 or minus 4, 0. From there, we can work out the axis of symmetry. x equals to 0 plus minus 4 divided by 2, which is minus 2. So it's the midpoint of the two x-intercept and then the turning point. Substitute x equals to minus 2 into the equation. Minus 2 squared plus 4x. 4 minus 2, which means minus 2 squared is 4. 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. Therefore, that is minus 4. So the turning point is minus 2, minus 4. So sketching this, we know that the axis of symmetry x equals to minus 2. Turning point is minus 2, minus 4. One of the x-axis, x-intercept is 0, 0, and, oops, that's too far away, 4, 0, and then I can draw the parabola, y equals x squared plus 4x. Although there's no scale, I would like to see that because of symmetry, that distance should be approximately the same. Now, if I ask you to convert y equals x squared plus 4x into the turning point form, how do you actually do it? Alright, I would like you to recall 
completing the square. So for any quadratic expression x squared plus bx plus c, to factorize the expression by completing the square, the steps are square half the half of the coefficient of x, so if it's b over 2 square, and then add to the expression and then take it away. All right. So this is the process of completing the square. If you are not sure, please refer to the video again. All right. Once you have added and take away the b over 2 square, you can actually write the first part of the expression as a perfect square. All right. Let's look at the previous example again. If I want to convert y equals x squared plus 4x into the turning point form, I need to actually um, complete the square. So here, you know that c is 0. So therefore, we can write this as x squared plus 4x plus 4 over 2 square minus 4 over 2 square. All right. Therefore, this is x squared plus 4 over 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4 plus 4 minus 4. Therefore, this is x plus 2 squared minus 4. Straight away, you know the turning point is minus 2 minus 4. And then the axis of symmetry is x equals to minus 2. All right. So for the y-intercept, is when x equals to 0. Actually, you can read from here, is 0, 0. And now, um, finding the x-intercept. When it's y equals to 0. Therefore, you know x plus 2 square minus 4 equals to 0. x plus 2 all square equals to 4 x plus 2 equals to uh, plus or minus square root of 4, which is 2. x equals 2 minus 2 plus or minus 2. So therefore, one of the point, minus 2, minus 2 is minus 4, 0. And minus 2 plus 2 is 0, 0. So those are the x intercepts. This information here, we can sketch the graph. So here the parabola x equals 2, the axis of symmetry is x equals 2. Minus 2. X equals to minus 2. And turning point is minus 2. Minus 4. And the intercept, X intercept, one of them is 0, 0. There's a Y intercept as well. And the other one is minus 4, 0. And then we can sketch the graph, the parabola. And label it Y equals to X squared plus 4X. All right. Now, let's try another question. I would like you to pause the video for a while, work this one out first, and then compare your answer to mine. So to convert y equals x squared minus 6x to turning point form, I need to complete the square. x squared minus 6x plus 6 over 2 square minus 6 over 2 square. That will give me x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 9, which is x minus 3 squared minus 9. Therefore, the turning point is plus 3 minus 9. And the axis of symmetry is x equals to 3. All right. Now, the y-intercept is 0, 0, reading from the original equation, and then the turning point, oh, sorry, the x-intercept. So therefore, we know uh, this is happens when y equals to 0, x minus 3 square minus 9 equals to 0, x minus 3 all square equals to 9, x minus 3 equals to plus or minus 3, so x therefore equals to 3 plus or minus 3. Therefore, 3 plus 3 is 6, 0. And the other one is 3 minus 3 is 0, 0. So therefore, we can start sketching. Start off with 
the axis of symmetry. This is x equals to 3. And then the turning point is x equals to 3 minus 9. And then the next bit we can see is one of the point is 0, 0. The other point is 6, 0. So therefore, sketching it. This is y equals to x squared minus 6x. And this point is 0, 0. Always label. Remember to label your points. All right. Let's try the next question. Sketch y equals to x squared plus x plus 1. y equals to x squared plus x plus 1. That equals to x squared plus x plus 1 over 2 all square minus 1 over 2 all square plus 1 equals to x plus half all square minus 1 over 4 plus 1 equals to x plus half all square plus 3 over 4. All right. From there, you know the turning point is minus half 3 over 4. And the axis of symmetry is x equals to minus half. All right. You know that y intercept is 0 1 reading from the general uh, form of the quadratic function and let's solve for x intercept happens when y equals to 0 so x plus half square plus 3 over 4 equals to 0 x plus half square equals to minus 3 over 4 we cannot have a square root of minus 3 over 4. Therefore, there is no x in the set. Or there's no root at all. So now, plotting this. Again, start off with the axis of symmetry. x equals to minus half. And here, you know that the turning point is minus half, 3 quarters. Minus half. 3 over 4 and then the y intercept is 0 1 so therefore sketching that this is y equals to x squared plus x plus 1 all right next example again i'd like you to try this yourself pause it for a while In order to complete the square for this, y equals to x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 9 minus 7. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So this is x plus 3 squared minus 16. Alright? So we know the turning point is minus 3 minus 16. And then the axis of symmetry. is x equals to minus 3. Now, the y-intercept is 0, minus 7, and then the x-intercept. Is when x, x and y equals to 0, therefore x plus 3 square minus 16 equals to 0 x plus 3 square equals to uh, 16 x plus 3 equals to plus or minus 4 and x equals to minus 3 plus or minus 4 so therefore one of the point minus 3 plus 4 is 1 0 and the other x intercept is minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7 0 so with this information we can start sketching the graph x equals to minus 3. So let's say that this is the x, uh, this is the axis of symmetry, and the turning point is minus 3, minus 16. 
So, um, the x-intercept, one of them is 1, 0. The other is minus 7, 0. And then the y-intercept um, is 0, minus 7. So this is your parabola y equals x squared plus 6x minus 7. Alright, I hope you've got it right. One last example. Try this one out, please. Alright, let's look at this question here. I want you to pause the video for a while and see if you can work this one out. Alright? Now, I know in order con to complete the square, y equals x squared plus 7x plus 7 over 2 all square minus 7 over 2 all square plus 5 all right so therefore this is x plus 7 over 2 all square minus 49 over 2 4 plus 5 we need to add the constant together so x plus 7 over 2 all square minus bring everything into the same common denominator 49 minus 20 therefore is x plus 7 over 2 all square minus 29 over 4 all right so now straight away you know the turning point is minus 7 over 2 minus 29 over 4 and the axis of symmetry is x equals to minus 7 over 2 so the, for, for the y-intercept, reading from the original equation, is actually 0, 5. Let's work out the x-intercepts. So we know that this happens when y equals to 0. x plus 7 over 2, all square minus 29 over 4 equals to 0. So x plus 7 over 2, all square equals to 29 over 4 x plus 7 over 2 equals to plus or minus square root of 29 over 2 because square root of 4 is 2 so x equals to minus 7 over 2 plus or minus square root of 29 over 2 so therefore you can write down the 2 x intercept is minus 7 over 2 plus or minus uh, actually it's plus let's start off with plus square root of a 9 over 2 0 the other one is minus 7 over 2 minus square root of 29 over 2 0 now you need to determine whether these two points are on the negative x-axis or the positive let's have a look Squ minus 7 over 2 is minus 3.5 all right now square root of 29 over 2 so square root of 25 is actually 5 square root of 36 is 6 so square root of 29 is between 5 and 6 all right so if it is 6 6 over 2 is 3 so minus 7 over 2 3.5 plus 3 it's still negative so both of them are located in the x negative x axis all right so here we can start sketching starting from the axis of symmetry x equals to minus 7 over 2 all right so we know here there's a turning point minus 7 over 2 minus 29 over 4 all right so the y intercept is 0 5 and then we can actually let's sketch the parabola first y equals x squared plus 7x plus 5 and then we can indicate these two points this point is minus 7 over 2 
plus square root of 29 over 2, 0. And this point would be minus 7 over 2 minus square root of 29 over 2, 0. All right. So you know now how to convert um, a quadratic equation from the general form to the turning point form by completing the square. And then you know how to sketch a parabola from there. This is the end of the lesson.